All right, uh, now I'm going to show you number nine, which is the Venn diagram of glazing. Glazing is when you layer transparent layers of color one over another. Uh, we did that here for the value scale, and each subsequent glazing of the same color just made it darker and darker. Here we're going to try it with different colors and see what happens when we layer two different colors together. So here I've used like a, a pale blue-green, uh, which I made by adding blue-green to that brown I used on the apple, and you can see the apple, uh, the bleeding actually worked out pretty well. I think it actually added a little realism to the apple. So here I've already prepared this, and it's already dry, so I'm going to just go over it with a glaze of this pink from up here, which I still have. So I'm just going to paint right over this. And remove the puddle. Sometimes it helps to just tilt the paper and then the puddle all goes to one side. Okay, and I'm going to pause and uh, dry that and then come back. Okay, so now I've got that second pink layer dry and you can see it's just a little grayer here. Uh, if you really want a better result than this, I mean, there's nothing wrong with gray. There's lots of grays in, in uh, still life that's realistic. Uh, but if you really want a really cool and really bright, pretty uh, Venn diagram, you'll use yellow, blue, and red, the primaries. Or you could also use yellow, blue, green, or and red, violet. Um, any of those combinations will make prettier mixtures in between. But let's just see what happens when I add the last color, the yellow. Um, right over this and you can see over the blue it's making like a greenish color and over the red it's making like a peachy orange so you could see how it works uh, by glaze especially here by glazing a yellow over a red uh, to create a new color instead of just mixing it